There it is, good. Breathe in, I got you. Exhale, twist. Beautiful. There you go, good. Perfect, there we go, I got you. Press, has that caused any symptoms at all other than some, just some wrist, wrist pressure? Okay, this should, shouldn't cause anything, but if this, and somebody says, oh, this caused wrist pain, that's carpal tunnel, that's incorrect. <laughs>
when you tilt your head left, all the bones shift to the opposite side. Mm -hmm. So long term, you're young enough. Are you, are you 20? No. How old are you? 34. 34 years old. Are you really? You're still young. Sorry. So, someone called me. I was like, oh, I, I think I bet you're 17, right? I'm like, no. Oh. All right. Well, so long term, if, yeah. we, if we stay with this bone mm -hmm. over here, the left lower neck is under extra stress. And it really nobody, nobody really values or looks at it until it gets to a sim highly symptomatic level. Mm -hmm. But this alignment, we know, puts extra stress on your left lower neck, left shoulder blade. So we want to get your head tilting to the right more and that'll offload some of the extra stress that this position is putting on the left side. We go for the biggest misalignment first. We're going to start mm -hmm. with this guy. I'm going to see how loose it is before we massage. Got your head. There you go. There go. Just this top guy a little bit. There you go. Good. Perfect. There we go. I got you. I got your head. Keep that chin up for me. Beautiful. There you go. You did great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even the sound was quieter on that side because it, that's the distance. The, the more, <clears throat> the larger the distance, the larger the disparity between where you're bone should be and where I want it to be. Mm -hmm. And that will also give you the sound. Uh, if a bone is far out of position, crunch, you know, mm -hmm. geez, and then, you know, why did the one side not be as loud? Because it wasn't as subluxated. You also can make a sound opening a joint, which is unfortunate. <laughs> uh, it's like a door. You can make a door have a sound closing a door, or mm -hmm. if it hits the backstop, fully yeah. open. So a joint will do the same thing. You can make a joint click, fully opening it or fully shutting it. The goal of the adjustment is to close the joint. So we want, what does it mean closing? Well, to allow the joint to be more overlapping and put more weight on the joint, which takes stress off the disc. The disc is non-sensitive and doesn't regenerate, so it's, it's more long-term productive to have weight on the joints. Instead, if you don't, then the discs are gonna age at a faster rate. Your thumb and try to tilt your head to the mm -hmm. right. It's a you might catch yourself, look in the mirror, you might catch yourself tilting your head left more than you tilt your head right. That's what we want to, first way to fix a problem is to identify it if we don't, mm -hmm. let alone we're not told. Well, the most common times is, is when I notice that my head is leaning forward. I'm like, nope, nope, you right. need to straighten right. it out. Keep so. it up, yeah. keep your head back. Yeah, there, yeah I feel it. Mm -hmm. These are, there are roots up here, so there's muscles that attach up here on the occiput around the atlas up here, and so the sub little suboccipital muscles, they're under extra stress the more forward your head goes. So we want to get the head back over your shoulders, re reduce the stress on this musculature. Otherwise, really, it's not going to work. It won't last if you don't change the posture. There we go. I'll show you how Definitely stuff here, too. but. <laughs> Not happy with it. But yeah, I feel it more on the left side. The, the, when discomfort. The discomfort is right. usually on the left. Right. It's because the left, everybody on YouTube is like, it's because his left is compensating. Correct. Very good. <laughs> Chocolates for everybody on YouTube. <laughs> Correct. The left side hurts, right? Why? Because the left side is doing extra work because he's avoiding his right. So the left is doing something like 60, 70% of the work. The right side's underworking. You're not going to hurt in the area that gets a vacation. The side that's doing extra is gonna, so it's the right side that's really the problem. I know everybody tries to focus on the symptomatic pain areas, but really can't help the sprained ankle. It's already injured. It's, we'll leave it alone, tape it up. It's, it's, it's been overburdened. There you go. Much better, yeah. Can you achieve that angle with a dinner roll? So it's, there's, you want to say you can get about half of it with the dental mm -hmm. to really get the full curvature in we have to go to what we call it there's a yellow dental roll and then there's a head strap bungee strap I start with the dental roll as a way to get probably 25 30 degrees of curve so you're supposed to have 45 mm -hmm. if we were gonna get it with the neck dental roll we probably have to put a weight on the forehead mm -hmm. you're know saying like a like a two pound weight or three because the head needs to be pressed deeper does that mm -hmm. make sense that yeah. weight of your head isn't enough to get the full arch, but the issue is that you can't take somebody from zero and put them at 45. It's yeah. too much of a difference. Yeah. So it's better to do the neck dental for a few months, mm -hmm. get to 25 degrees, and then it's easier to go from 25 degrees to 45. Mm -hmm. And so I yeah, I look at it as like acclimation or stepping stones to get up this hill. Which is what I was thinking. Yeah, you can't, it, it becomes too unbearable. It's too mm -hmm. hard. And I can't connect with this because I've been doing this my whole life. It's like, 
Come on, everybody, get on the... What, you can't handle it? Come on, back up. I'm dying here. My arms are going numb. Okay, well, let's try this for a while. It's, just, it's, it's tough to go... Like, I take you up to 20,000 feet elevation, and you're, like, passing out. I'm like, <laughs> Matt? I'm uh, really blue. <laughs> uh, Matt? <laughs> What's going on? I, I, uh, <laughs> okay, let's go down 10,000 feet. So it, 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 is, it is difficult. Like my dental hygienist at the end of my appointment will say, do you want do you want the paste polish or do you want the sandblast? I don't know what they call it. It's like they use this like sandblast thing to polish my teeth. I'm like, what's the most effective? What yeah. what achieves what you want? And they're like, well, this is more the sandblast method is I don't know what it's called. I'm sure it's a bit more technical. <laughs> my point I, is that I don't have an option. They just give me the paste and they're they're done with it. Interesting. Okay. Well, I just what what does what you want? I don't care about discomfort for five minutes. <laughs> do whatever you got to do. And uh, so I look at the gua sha's like that. It's, it's, it's a superior way of cleaning the tissue, getting the soreness out, but, you know, it, it's more intense. Not that much pressure, right? No. It's not, yeah, it's not, not. People always comment, are you filleting him? Be gentle. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not. I, I always, I always, I, and now I'm thinking back to when Brenda worked on you. It's like, oh, you just think of it as a nice massage. Right, right. <laughs> Yeah. Right. This is it's pretty pretty mild pressure. Yeah. And first of all, if I was hurting his skin, he would be, get off that. <laughs> Stop. Doing great. Doing great. It's gone down considerably since we started. Much better. There you go. Perfect. Look at that. Here we go. I got you. I think we got most of this. I'm just gonna check. I think we got it all. Oh, one okay. no more. Yeah. Be great. Beautiful. 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 It's not it's not just about standing the tree up, you have to push the roots down. <laughs> you gotta the roots lift up out of the ground when you lean the tree over. So the neck of your body is like the trunk and the, these are the roots down here. So people might say, you know, Ed, my upper back is super tender and sore. Why is that? I'm going, well because the head's the tree's leaning over. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The only way to fix it is to get the tree upright. Otherwise, it's just silly. You could massage that or acupuncture it or laser it. It's all temporary if we don't take the tree and stand it upright. You can't handle what it takes to stand the tree upright if you don't get some of the soreness out of the back. Otherwise, it's too intense. So if we can get the lactic acid out and the soreness out, then we're in better shape. These ribs right here, yeah, I feel it mainly on the left side. I feel like right there, mm -hmm. they're more popped up right there on the left. So we get that rib pain there. Let's see if we can compress that down a little bit. The joints are just swollen. Compressing it, arching back with a six inch diameter foam roller mm -hmm. would be your first way of being able to brush it yourself at home. And too intense, then you have to. This is why we have to do this to make it more bearable. Beautiful. It's not so much the rib head; it's all the facet. You got the, <clears throat> so there's two joints. There's a joint between the vertebrae, and there's a joint where the rib attaches to the side. The rib feels good. It's the facet. Vertebral joint facets that are we use the word zygopophyseal. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> something sounds like something you get at the Look, Doom Temple. <laughs> <laughs> Look out for the zygopophyseals. That's a, that's a word. It's a, people are like I'm going to Google that. <laughs> I'm not sure. We call them the Z joints, is what we say for short. But the, yes, they're called the zygopophyseals. Are the joints between the vertebrae, and then the rib head is the joint on the side on the transverse. But yeah, there's some right there on the Z joint. It's swollen. 
Now, does it come about because you, you know, when you're sitting, you lean over? Got it. You know, you lean over to like the left or you lean over to the right and it opens it up? If you lean to the right, the left side swells more. Okay. Like, if you lean left, the right side swells more, so. Because that's what I wind up doing is, mm -hmm. you know, you get tired in the bottom, the mid, mid back, and I'm like, I'm just going to lean over. Right. Well, the joint has a lot of feeling, and so we just avoid. The issue is that as we're avoiding, the joint gets more swollen. So when we finally try to w put weight on the joint, it's even ha it's even more unhappy. Mm -hmm. So it's not a long-term solution. It's a short-term avoidance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's just some more intense pain compared sure. to the other side. Sure, yeah, the, yeah, it's more on the rib on the side. The whole right side, the ribs are all popped up over yeah. here. All right. I know it's tough. Mm -hmm. Twinge really comes from right here. We call it the thoracolumbar junction. Mm -hmm. The end of your spinal cord is right here. And so the nerves that actually form the sciatic nerve start in the canal up here at lumbar one. Mm -hmm. They travel down and then they exit, go to the area that you're feeling that twinge in. I found to be the most common area of irritation is up here connected with the slouching, this area gets all swollen, tight, inflamed, lactic acid. So this is where we end with the roller. We start up here or work our way down to here, leave the lower back alone and getting any soreness out of here does two things. It makes this part of your back supple so that it's actually mechanically participating <clears throat> and then starts the process of working on restoring that lumbar curve, the lordosis which gives you longevity and more stability. Yeah, right there. Don't, don't attack the monster. I know. Embrace the pain. Mm -hmm. Belgian Road, uh-huh, made of bricks. Uh -huh. stones. <laughs> right.
when the monsters say, I prefer the gua sha to the elbow. There you go. <laughs> Master this entire visit. Life becomes so easy. <laughs> you red line. You're asking for as much as this engine can handle and then just what your daily needs are is far less. And See if I can get the right, but it's not very much over here. back your first visit but it definitely is not even stretching you know you're able to prevent so much buildup then okay. the motion of this area is what prevent is what allows us to accumulate so if we can keep it moving it won't build up to a high level uh -huh. Let's see. Mm -hmm. joint in here that's just swollen. We're going to compress it in a minute on the roller. That's what it needs to be. It's the most posterior is the highest part of the slouch. When you're sitting slouching, this is the uh -huh. highest point. So it's the joint that's the most swollen. That's why you feel the joints are loaded with pain fibers. And when the joint swells, we call it a synovial joint capsule. There's a ligament around that that holds that capsule together. And so the capsule starts to stretch the ligament the ligament gives off some inflammatory chemicals because it's being torn a little bit. Does that make sense? And that irritates the mm -hmm. joint and that gives you pain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I found it. Not there, Ed. I found the twinge. Yeah, right there. <laughs> so more on the bottom or on the up here on the you sides? The sides. Like up here? Yeah. Like in here? Um, or more down? Uh, no, it's, it's it's where your thumb was, but a little bit higher up. Up here. All right, like right here? Um, on the side. On the side, like here. All right, this is more Achilles attachments. This is yeah. the Achilles tendon is diving into your calcaneus here. Mm -hmm. And you want to come this way down on it. You want to come down, push the attachment back down. Okay. It's, a, it's the same kind of idea as epicondylitis on your elbow. Mm -hmm. It's a, a tendon diving into a bone pain. There can be some overlap. You can get pain in here from the lower back. So 
the spot that I'm talking about there in the middle back mm -hmm. can be at the very least the health of this tissue comes from that nerve and so sometimes the health of the attachment becomes weakened if okay. the lower back's not happy and then this attack this real attachment problem exists but it's ultimately due to the nerve being upset okay. that's what I figured you know it's it, there is overlap there but if sometimes even if you address the lower back issue the tendon won't right itself so you have to compress this tendon back down on what I think of like Panera bread <laughs> you have to panini and, and compress the layers back down onto the bone is that it right there hard to say yeah, there's definitely compare compare the sides no, no, is it sore? Is it different when I press on it compared to your right? Um, or the yeah, same? It's not, yeah, actually, now that I think about it, the right side is more sore than the left. Uh huh. Yeah, that's the attachment. These are just Achilles tendon attachment onto the calcaneus. You have to, you have to, yep, you got to press that back down. So if this muscle is contracted for long periods of time, it keeps a constant tension on the attachment. So then the more question, well, why is the calf contracting? Well, that, be, that can become from your lower back. That makes sense. If the lower back nerves are upset, that will taser this muscle, mm -hmm. causing a pull on the Achilles attachment. And so ultimately, yeah, there's definitely right there. Right there. There it is. I found it. That's the contraction. Right there. Ed, that feels lovely. Uh huh. there. All right, come on. All right, I'm sorry. That bad. Wow. Yeah, I, um, before I addressed it with minerals and whatnot, um, I used to get really, really bad. Log out from the cab. Right. I'd okay. wake up in the morning and, and the thing went just spaz and block, you know, I'm like, can't do anything but hold on for like three five minutes. Till they that's, release that's a pre sciatica. It's a it's a pre. And it would happen to both legs at the same time. Right. Which is terrible. There is a leg problem, but it's ultimately because your lower back. There's nerve pressure. Mm -hmm. You're not. It's not obvious to the point where yeah I got shooting pain down to my foot. You understand that'd be obvious. Everybody agrees with Dr. Ed. <laughs> that's yeah. sciatica. But this is a pre sciatica. We have muscle tightness mm -hmm. causing attachment problems. You're not spending your weekends playing five hours of soccer, right? You know, <laughs> no. causing a lot of stress on this muscle. No, Ed, I'm just sitting a lot. I go to bed. I wake up in the morning. I have bad spasms in my calves. It's not something he's doing. It's the, well, it is, but it's the sitting it's, is doing it's something. It's the excessive sitting. Right. That is something. Yeah. And that isn't nothing. People sometimes look at sitting as not doing anything. It's like, that is something. Yeah, it feels hard. But no, I'm... I was combing your back way. It's just that tender, the tissue is that sore in here. You can hit, use a massage type tool, but pulsating type tool, but you want to. Ultimately, it's, it's up there in the middle back. That's the cause. His left middle back restriction causing a right lower overstressing, causing the nerve to be upset to his calf. All right, so we're going to go shirt on. Oh, this. I know. <laughs> he knows too much. <laughs> All right. I got you. You're ready. There you go. Breathe. Exhale. Mm -hmm. Exhale. There we go. Good. Okay. All right. All right. I know. That was tough. I'm going to check this top out here. There we go. Breathe in deep. We're going to stretch. Here we go. Coming up. There you go, it already moved, yep, breathe. Here we go, come on. Right there, come on. There it is, nice. You all right? Mm -hmm. That was tough, I know. Down here. You did great, yeah, that was.
Mm -hmm, nice. Okay. Hold yourself above your head. <laughs> this is a tiny bit. I know I'm tugging on you. Just try to relax your leg. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Good. So try to relax a little bit for me. Oh, no. That's good. I use a lot of headphones so they get smushed down. back with your there you go nice sort of press back right there press back lift your chin up for me all right it's okay that's the chair I use mm -hmm. and then go back to here so that's usually how I sit and that's actually my stomach area mm -hmm. perfect yeah okay yeah he's got his yeah, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to do that. It's, yeah. it's kind of hard to. Perfect. Yeah, that's that rib mm -hmm. <laughs> over there. <laughs> that's the big monster. What? Yeah. No, that's the big monster. That's the people I feel all the time. Yeah. So. so we're gonna go mash them now. We're gonna mm -hmm. start over here. Right now. You're gonna try to put that right over that rib that's upset and facet joints that are upset. So probably around yeah. here. And then okay. You want to maximize the amount of time you can handle here. Now I get mm -hmm. the beginning. You might only be able to handle for a minute or two, and then you have to run away. Go back to the upper back, or well, doing this stretch is not is not a is not a big deal. The big deal to me is the fact that my arms are they're well, more they're more comfortable put, put, here. Put here. Then, then take then, a break. Then, take a break. Put them here. Yeah. We need to work on above your head because that's the shoulders round forward. Yeah, we need to work on, and that'll help the longevity of your shoulders. Stretching those shoulders back. There, you get two birds one stone with this. You get your back in and you get your shoulders back, at the same time, and you're looking great. I think I got them. This one, I think when we did the hug adjustment, one, yeah. of, them, one of them went. Yeah, he's, he's a little crunchy joints there. The main thing with the wrist is to keep it tractioned. You want to just open it. There's eight marbles in here, <laughs> two rows of you know, four marbles, and you want to keep all the marbles moving. Tell you how many times people misdiagnose carpal tunnel. It's like, okay, you know, mm -hmm. it's more, more likely than not the lower neck. So the median nerve comes off the brachial plexus up mm -hmm. here and it makes one long continuous wire through the carpal tunnel. So you can pinch the nerve here or it can be pinched here. And everybody goes to the carpal tunnel like, oh gosh, guys. Carpal tunnel is real easy to detect. Here's how you. Called Phalen's and reverse Phalen's test, P H A L A L E N, as we call it. Since so put your hands like that and press, you put the back of your palms and press. Has that caused any symptoms at all, other than some just some wrist, wrist pressure? Okay, this should shouldn't cause anything. But if this, and somebody says, oh, this caused wrist pain, that's carpal tunnel. That's incorrect. <laughs> Having wrist discomfort during Phalen's is not carpal tunnel. It's symptoms in this area. So okay, very good. Thank you, sir. All right, guys.